Fair prices, decent working conditions and sustainable farming. That's the promise that fair trade offers when purchasing their products. It's become a byword for a better way of doing business in rural areas. Fair for the farmer, the workers and the local community. But it may not be effective enough. After studying 1,500 people working in fair trade certified businesses in Uganda and Ethiopia, academics from the University of London have found otherwise. Many of the workers profiled fell short of earning decent wages and receiving little of the benefits it's meant to deliver. There was even evidence of children being paid to work on such farms. In certain cases with areas where there is larger scale, more commercial uh, production, what we tend to find uh, and the statistics show this is significant, is that the wages are typically lower on the areas dominated by fair trade certified producer organizations. With more companies selling fair trade products such as this coffee shop behind me, it certainly proved to be a popular idea that your daily cappuccino or your favorite bar of chocolate could go some way into helping poorer farmers around the world and also leaving consumers feeling reassured that some of their money could go towards ethical projects. The fair trade scheme began 25 years ago, set up by development and consumer groups. Today in the UK, it's a $3 billion enterprise. Backed by the government as well as supermarkets and Christian organizations, it's become one of the most trusted consumer brands. Nearly 1.5 million people around the world are part of the fair trade scheme and their products fund schools as well as sanitation and health projects. While the allegations raised may be troubling news, fair trade maintains that it is a work in progress and the challenges are numerous but it is improving working conditions in countries with high levels of poverty. What I hope is that most people will acknowledge just how tough it is to tackle this problem. Uh, as the report shows, it's, it's a problem that all governments and all companies have yet to tackle. And that's why you find this terrible poverty. In particular, the report looks at women who have been widowed or divorced, who are illiterate, and have to find very, very temporary work. And in a globalised world, it is the regulators, governments, as well as the consumers who need to push for better living and work conditions for the very people fair trade is trying to help. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, London.